Police are trying to track down some serial gas thieves after an expensive case of vandalism there. This happened in the 26,000 block of Southeast Stark. Jessica Morkert is live there tonight with more on this crime alert for us. Jessica? Well, Kelly, this is happening at a local nonprofit, and the transportation specialist who manages all of these buses says gas has been siphoned out of them countless times, a crime that's really hurting people who are just trying to make ends meet. Sometimes they leave the gas cap, sometimes they don't. Gas cap's $48. The transportation specialist for a nonprofit based in Northeast Portland shows us how thieves stole 30 gallons yet again. There's some kind of hose that goes into the tank. He did not want to show his face on camera nor name his organization, which serves struggling families and children, but says three of his buses were hit in recent weeks. Some 60 gallons of gasoline siphoned, fire extinguishers stolen, windows were bashed out. It's the third time it's happened. Happened since September and before then there was a period of time for maybe six months and that's when I tried to talk our director into just you know let me leave 10 gallons of gas outside the fence I'll leave a note that says take the gas bring the cans back the barbed wire fencing hasn't kept criminals out with a strapped budget cameras are not an option. I think it correlates directly to the price we're paying at the pumps. I reached out to AAA. A spokesperson tells me while siphoning is rare, it does happen. Some 650 gallons of diesel were stolen from a paper shredding company in North Portland last year. What can somebody do to protect themselves against gas siphoning? Well, like all crimes, gas siphoning can be a crime of opportunity. So what you want to do is make sure that your vehicle is difficult for thieves to target. Using a locking fuel cap can help keep your car safe. We reached out to police and asked them what they're going to do. They say in the future, any available patrols will be here. In the meantime, this man plans to use propane. I think that the people that do this look for easy targets. Now back here live now, propane is a better option because these buses, uh, because the uh, it's cheaper and it's green and it's harder to siphon, I'm told, but making the transition to propane is costly, so they're really relying on police presence here and hoping that they just don't get hit again. Live in Northeast Portland, Jessica Morkert, Coin 6 News.